Well, the scene is Harold Park, the year is 1969, and the race is the Miracle Mile taken out by the Star Victorian adapter, trained and driven by Jack Hargraves, the great uncle of my next guest, Kate Hargraves. Well, Kate, unfortunately, you weren't born back in 1969, but certainly wonderful memories for the family. Yeah, definitely, with my great uncle Jack winning the Miracle Mile. Um, he was a great horseman, and um, yeah, I aspire to have that same level of success as him. And your father, Jeff's also played a very big part in your career. Yeah, definitely. Um, I grew up around the horses thanks to Dad. He was a trainer and driver um, back a long time ago when I was young and he taught me all the basics and um, got me going in the sport. So he certainly, um, early days, was a big influence on me. Yeah, so those two particular family members, you're now into your sixth year as a trainer. Other influences, Kate? Um, Karen Manning and Grant Campbell probably would be top of the list. Um, I worked for them for a long time and I learnt a lot of things from both of them and um, they're both great trainers in their own right and obviously Karen is someone everyone looks up to but they're fantastic people as well and um, I, I really enjoyed my time working for them and um, it, a lot of the things that I learnt from them I'm implementing in my training today. You're into your sixth year as a trainer so still the early days. You've put the driving part of it to one side after winning a 2014 Young Driver Series? Yeah, I did enjoy driving, but um, sort of didn't get the opportunities when I was a junior driver, and um, I just prefer the training side of it now, and um, I get a little bit nervous race day, so I like to hand the reins over to the pros. And how many horses do you have under your care? Uh, working 24 at the moment. So certainly very solid numbers, and included among those a number of trotters, and you certainly have a bit of a love for the trotter. Yeah, I've been really lucky. I've had uh, a few nice trotters, so um, I certainly have a little bit of a preference for the trotters just because I've had a lot of luck with them. One particular trotter is well defined who has a penchant for winning country cups. Yeah, he's a little superstar. Um, he's my favourite horse and last season he won the Mary's Idol Trophy, he won five country cups, so he's a horse um, I hold really close to my heart. You just mentioned he's small in nature, hence the nickname Flick. How did that come about? Yeah, he's a very tiny little horse, little Flick, um, and he's he's like a little ant. So um, and I named him after a character on A Bug's Life. There was a little ant on there called Flick. <laughs> a little in stature, big in heart. Oh, definitely. He's got a massive heart and a great will to win. Um, he's just the perfect little racehorse. You've also enjoyed plenty of success with Don't Care in particular and Bo Garcon. Yeah, um, Don't Care was my first and only Group 1 winner to date, um, so he'll always be a special horse and he's not far off racing again and um, Bo Garcon's a horse that I own myself and yeah, he's a great little consistent Metro trotter. You're here for the New Trine Equine Series, the Group 1 racing for the uh, two-year-old Phillies, as far as you're concerned, ludicrous, you bought from the sales. Yeah, I picked her out myself, so I've sort of had her since day one, um, so it's a really, it's a proud moment to have her here tonight in a Group 1 and only her third start. You're also a part owner and also with a very loyal group of part owners. Yeah, I'm a part owner myself, which is always handy when you've got a nicer one and um, a fantastic group of owners. Um, they're just so excited to have her here and they love the sport and um, they've just been so supportive of me. A lot of them I didn't know before they got involved with this horse and they've backed all my decisions um, with her to get her here tonight and they're just here to really enjoy the night. So um, that gives me a great thrill seeing how much excitement they get out of it. And Kate, win, lose or draw, you look like you do have a filly that's going to be progressive. Yeah, definitely. Um, she's got a lot of high speed um, and a bit of brilliance, a bit of X factor about her. So that sort of suggests that at least as a juvenile, she'll um, certainly be good enough to compete in, in the feature races. Well, Kate, great to catch up with you here at Club and Angle. Going forward, continued success with Ludicrous and hopefully a Group 1 glory will come your way. Yeah, thank you very much.